Today we need to get into Hybe, but being under attack, I want to talk about sort of the legal implications of what this is for the people who are doing this. We also need to get into people saying that Jungkook reacted to sort of the fanfic that was happening and what his reaction might be to that. And we need to get into people thinking that some of the fanfics have gotten mass deleted. So hey Dom, this is Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your zone blend at Hey Spilling Mug merch and let's go. We need to talk about fanfic and specifically the BTS members reacting to it. Because I think a lot of people in the fandom feel like BTS members don't actually know about the fanfic or know about how the fans are portraying the members within these stories that they're writing. However, this is 100% not true because the boys are fully aware. Labels and companies and businesses, they don't specifically ever make moves without doing some market research. So for example, when BTS announced that they were going to be doing Seven Fates, their Wattpad fanfic story, they weren't thinking about doing this story out of nothing. They considered doing it because they saw that there was a huge amount of people that were doing fanfic within their fandom and decided that there's a huge market here that is left untouched that they can start producing their own fanfic, which is something a label I don't think has ever done before. And they were absolutely correct. The story did very well. Of course, with this said, we have to keep in mind that not only did the label do their market research when creating this story, that the members also must have been aware that this was a market, which is exactly why the label was doing it. And we know that the boys understand business and all that stuff very much because even a long time ago, when Jin did his song Super Tuna, he was talking about how he wanted his fans to stop recreating the song and stop doing the challenge because he said specifically that if the song does really well, that the label is going to want him to recreate that song. So with that said, he obviously is aware of this idea. If something does well, if there's a demand for it, if there's a lot of people watching or and reading or doing whatever with this thing, that the boys are then going to have to recreate it, which is exactly what happened with Seven Fates. Now, during the creation of Seven Fates, RM actually posted something very interesting in his story. He posted a screenshot of several fanfics, I believe on Wattpad with the text on screen that was like 30 question marks. Now, if you're not someone who is an avid reader of Wattpad or even know what Wattpad is, let me explain. Wattpad is basically a site where you can write stories. So it's fan-made stories. That's just what they do. And instead of writing your fanfic like people do on Twitter or X, you can just literally have a blog site that you can do it. And if the story is popular, it'll get seen by more people. And this is not really like a social media site, I don't think, because I don't think you can talk to people. There's no instant messenger thing on there, I don't think. I could be wrong, I don't actually use the site myself, but this is from what I know. Now, of course, in this fashion, there's going to be very popular fanfics that surface at the top and ones that are on the front page when the members type in BTS, they're gonna see those. So naturally, I think as RM was doing some research or maybe considering what to make his story about, as I assume the members were able to contribute a little bit to their own story, Arm was able to look at some of the stories that were already on the site and naturally saw the most popular fanfic ships and were like, what is this? Hence his story post. Very quickly, the fandom erupted into, oh my God, delete this and that. Everyone needs to delete their stories because they don't want RM or BTS members to read about this. And I absolutely understand that because it could be a little embarrassing if you wrote a kind of raunchy fanfic about someone who you don't know personally and they don't really know you personally. And then they read that story and they're like, oh my God, what is this? And a lot of people were saying that not everyone in the fandom is like this. Of course, I imagine a lot of those stories that were there on RM's post were probably deleted or at least considered deleted as I'm sure these specific author of those stories was probably like, was RM mad at me? Should I delete this? But I think it's absolutely hilarious and funny. And of course, you got a shout out from RM. I wouldn't take this as a negative. I would keep it up. He wasn't mad. I don't think so. It is what it is. Not a big deal. So I think that while the boys might have, let's say, mixed feelings about fanfic or those sorts of things, I don't think they hate it. I don't think they necessarily love it, but if you are someone that writes those things, I wouldn't feel super guilty about it. I think it's fine. I think they understand that it happens and I think they are aware, which is very important because if they were avidly against it and they spoke out about it and said that they were, then you know, that they don't consent to that, but they are aware and they're not necessarily speaking out about it because they know that this is happening and something that happens when they become idols. Something that I think people should feel guilty about is all these Zionism and Zionist claims that people are coming out with against the label. No, I'm not going to go into the specifics because I've talked about this a little while ago and in several videos where I believe the word Zionism or Zionist has nothing to do with the word genocide. 
The word genocide is a very strong term, and it takes away from the meaning of what the word actually means when you're using it against a specific religious belief. And if you look at the word Zionism and genocide and read several of the articles that are there and see if the two are actually linked together, you'll very quickly see many, many posts not only disproving it, but actually saying that those two have nothing to do with each other. And that's just a word that was kind of lumped together. And honestly, it's quite silly for this sort of propaganda to spread so far that a label is getting so much hate. And you have to understand Understand when a label chooses or anyone chooses to ignore a severe backlash like this because there hasn't been a day in which this topic hasn't been trending online, if someone is choosing to ignore this then it's probably because it's stupid and they really have nothing they could say. These are the same people that would be very quick to attack either a news site, a radio show, or anyone who talks about BTS and claims that the label is going to sue that radio show or a news site but have never once thought that causing this much ruckus towards the label would cause the label to sue them when there's so many articles and so many things that have already been debunking Zionism and genocide together. If you're still going by these claims and attacking the label, and if the label then in turn, because of that, loses a lot of financial money, the label is coming after every single person who participated in this trend. They might as well. They have nothing to lose. So it makes no sense why these people are still coming after the label, even though a lot of these claims have already been debunked. And it just takes a quick Google search to do that. It doesn't fly well in court when all the judge has to ask the person Hybe is suing if they decide to read up on what Zionism and genocide is, and the answer is no, Hybe wins. I'm not saying that Hybe has initiated any sort of legal action towards any of these people, but keep doing this and they eventually, if they start to notice a dip in sales, their stock or whatever it is, I don't see why they wouldn't take legal action because the amount of backlash that they're getting constantly over something that makes no sense is ridiculous. If at this point you are so offended by what the label is doing, then why don't you take legal action? You can't because it has nothing to do with you, which is exactly what a lawyer would tell you if you hired them. People were also saying that Jungkook might have reacted to a fanfic. I know this is like a hard transition, but you know what, whatever. Specifically, they were talking about the fanfic Chi Cook. This is Jimin and Jungkook together, and many people in the fandoms were speculating that they both will have a traveling show together, and I don't know where this comes from. I did a little bit of research, and I think it was because right before they both enlisted, they both took a trip together either to Tokyo or somewhere in Japan. If I remember correctly, they probably resulted in two people thinking that there was like a show that would come out. Jungkook has his own series he puts on YouTube called GCF, and this is his own show that he edits. So many people have been tweeting and posting asking for the teasers of this G Cook travel show to come out, and it hasn't. What is so funny to me is that these people believe that there is a show and there could be, but there also could not actually have ever been anything recorded of this. So requesting this is kind of funny. I don't know if this is like a joke or if this actually is true and if they believe that there's a travel show that will come out, but who knows? Maybe there will be and then I look like a clown. A lot of people think that this would be Jungkook's way of either denying the ship or it would be his way of confirming it depending on what's on the show. Others think that he would be upset given RM's reaction when he saw the fanfic on Wattpad. People think that Jungkook might have a similar reaction and not be so happy with the sort of shipping that is going on in the fandom. And again, I think I've proven before that all the boys are aware of the fanfic and the shipping that goes on because there's probably a chance that RM has told all of them and there's probably a chance that they have done their own research on Wattpad before they launched their own fanfic and I've seen all the stuff that was posted. And also given that he's probably at the camp right now with not much to do right before he goes to bed or maybe in the morning or whenever he has a break. He probably is seeing some of the stuff online. I do wish to see a travel show, not specifically because of the ship, but I wish to see a travel show because I think it will be fun to watch and there will be something cute that will come out and we haven't had anything come out from them in a while. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for the comment right here. Love you. Bye.